the best shoes for a Galapagos trip. For an enjoyable Galapagos experience, you will require two types of shoes, one for dry landings and one for wet landings. A dry landing is when you disembark from your Zodiac or Panga directly onto dry land, without getting your feet wet. A wet landing, on the other hand, is when there are no docks or dry landing disembarkation points on an island visitor site and you must disembark directly into the water on the shore of a beach. Both types of landings are very common on all Galapagos trips, but especially on Galapagos Islands cruises. Shoes and footwear for dry landings. For the island trails that have a dry landing, you will need to bring comfortable walking or hiking shoes with good traction. These will likely be the same shoes you use for any activities in mainland Ecuador if you plan to explore the mainland before or after your cruise. Depending on how sure-footed you are, regular running or trail shoes will often suffice as the ideal footwear for the daily walks and hikes around the islands. However, if you prefer a little more support, you may want to consider bringing hiking shoes including models with ankle support. Shoes and footwear for wet landings. Tiva style sandals or water shoes are ideal for wet landings because they allow you to get your feet wet and to continue walking around the island beaches and the lighter trails without requiring an additional pair of shoes. On some trails, in addition to the wet landing footwear, you may also want to consider bringing your regular hiking shoes to change into them for a more comfortable hiking experience. Crocs, another type of water shoes that can get wet, are also good for the Galapagos, but please make sure they have good traction on the sole and that they stay firmly secure on your feet when you disembark in the surf. Flip-flops and single strap sandals, although acceptable on deck, are not recommended for when disembarking on the islands, either in wet or on dry landings. An important note on shoes while on board your boat. On most cruises, the shoes you wear during landings are kept in a bin or in a shoe rack near the boarding zone of the yacht. If you want to wear these same shoes on board, you will need to wash the bottoms every time you return to your yacht. We highly recommend having a light pair of deck shoes or sandals, also flip-flops, for when on board your yacht. Bare feet are also acceptable in most cruises, although on Quasar cruises and many other cruises around the islands, we do require you to wear shoes for dinner. To summarize, here's a quick checklist of the footwear required for a Galapagos cruise. One pair of good comfortable walking or hiking shoes. One pair of Tiva style sandals or water shoes. And one pair of deck shoes or Crocs.